The South American Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church has a long history of receiving the 13th Sabbath offering. In 1912, the first 13th Sabbath offering went to India. The third went to help build River Plate Academy in Argentina. Today, the school is now River Plate University and is one of the church's major educational institutions in South America, sending medical missionaries all over the world. That early offering is an example of how helping one area can end up advancing the Lord's work around the world. This quarter, the 13th Sabbath offering will again help the South American division and hopefully grow to be a blessing to the worldwide church. The South American Division is growing at a rapid rate with a membership of more than 2.5 million members. Yet there are challenges that the church faces and these threaten to slow the pace of growth. From the big cities to the far rural areas, there are still millions of people that need to hear the gospel. There is also the need to educate pastors and lay members to help sustain the growth that has already taken place. This quarter, the 13th Sabbath offering will help the church to face these challenges. In South America, we are part of the World Church. We are doing our part. We are working fast and with passion. We are looking for God's power. At this moment, with the growth that we have had and the challenges that we have, we need that the World Church holds hands with us and helps us that the passion for the mission of the church in South America be supported with the financial resources that will give us condition to preach the gospel because we want to see Christ come soon to the earth. 2006 was the last time that the 13th Sabbath offering was sent to the South American division. It helped to build chapels and churches in northern Argentina expand growing schools in Brazil and start the work of reaching out to the people in the favelas of Rio de Janeiro. One of the schools to receive the offering is Petropolis, located in the mountains outside of Rio de Janeiro. This school is now home to more than 400 students. More than half of them live in campus housing. The 2006 offering is now expanding the boys' dormitory and will be completed in time for the new school year in January of 2010. The students on this campus are learning how to become witnesses for Jesus so that they can help share His love in South America. Another area that benefited from your offerings are the people working in the favelas in Rio de Janeiro. These crime-ridden slums are homes to millions of people who work and live in very trying and difficult circumstances. The work here is hard and progress is slow. Your offerings have helped buy land where a new church will be built to nurture the new members who have come to a new life in Jesus. Igreja Mundial, nosso agradecimento pela oferta. World Church, we are thankful for the offering for the work in the garage. And we continue with this small group. And we have been able to purchase this small house to continue the work in the favelas. We are thankful and plan on continuing this work. This small group started out with three members and now more than 40 people have been baptized and are attending church each Sabbath in a garage in a nearby favela. One of the fastest growing areas of the South American Division of Seventh-day Adventists is the North Brazil Union. This union is growing at such a rapid rate that in 2010 it will be split into two unions. The union has been adding about 45,000 members each year and now has a membership of more than 350,000 people. That may sound like a lot, but the union covers more than 45% of Brazil's entire land mass and is equal to 5.35 million square miles. There is literally a lot of ground to cover when it comes to spreading the gospel here. This has led to two major challenges for the church in northern Brazil. The first is the incredible growth that has taken place. There is now a great need for trained pastors to shepherd the new flocks of believers. The second need is to reach out to the far areas of this union to touch the unreached people who live in the forests and along the rivers of northern Brazil. To help prepare workers to support this dramatic growth, 
The South American Division is building the Adventist Amazon College, which will open its doors to theology students in 2010. A portion of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help to build a dormitory on the campus to house these future pastors. This school will expand to five majors and will be home to more than 1,500 students. The buildings are designed to be environmentally friendly with the latest energy-saving techniques to help keep the cost of an education affordable for the students. Currently, Adventist young people have to travel to Sao Paulo, more than 3,000 kilometers away, to attend an Adventist school. Most are forced to attend local public schools where theology training is not available. When the construction is finished, the school will be the major source of new pastors to help grow and nurture the church in northern Brazil. On the western coast of the South American continent is the mountainous country of Ecuador. Its name literally means equator and it's one of the fastest growing countries in the South American division. Ecuador is currently home to 13 million people and the Adventist church has more than 76,000 members. The church has grown here because of a strong effort to reach people through radio ministry. The church operates a network of radio stations that reach an audience of some 200,000 listeners. In the past five years, the radio station has baptized more than 700 people while giving out 4,000 Bible studies in just the northern part of Ecuador. The station focuses on programs that deal with health, family, information, and spiritual growth. The majority of the audience is educated. Most, some 95%, are not Seventh-day Adventists. Many people listen to the station because it avoids political controversy, frequently aired on most of the other radio stations. The programs are created and broadcast from a small station in Quito, the capital of Ecuador. The staff of three people are led by Miguel Martinez, the director of the radio station. He started out as a writer and on-air personality before becoming the station director five years ago. Pastor Jorge Cruz is the radio station chaplain who oversees the Bible study program. More than 90 volunteers help give Bible studies and meet with the listeners who have requested visits in their home. One volunteer couple, Yolanda and Augusta, work in the town of Alangasi on the outskirts of Quito. Recently, they visited the home of Maria Roca, who is a single mother. While visiting with Maria, Yolanda suggested that she listen to the Adventist radio station. Maria liked what she heard and soon asked Yolanda and Augusto to study the Bible with her. Now Maria, along with her son and daughter, are baptized members of the Adventist Church. Pastor Cruz says the radio station is a great way to enter the homes of the people in Ecuador. God is in this radio station. A portion of the 13th Sabbath offering this quarter will help to expand the outreach of the radio ministry in Ecuador. We hope that this offering will be a generous one because it will be utilized to purchase antennas and repeaters that will link our current radio stations. About a three-hour drive from Quito is the small town of Santo Domingo de los Colorados. Here the church runs Colegio Adventista del Ecuador, a K-12 school that is also home to 65 seminary students. More than 400 students attend this school. Students come from all over the country to receive an Adventist education. A portion of the 13th Sabbath offering this quarter will help renovate the boys' dorm, which houses the seminary students. The dorm is badly in need of repair so that the school can continue to help train the future pastors of the Adventist church in Ecuador. As the church here continues to grow through its outreach ministries, the need for newly trained pastors is growing quickly. Your faithful support of the mission offerings will help the church in Ecuador spiritually support its new members and continue to share hope with the people of this beautiful country. Ever since the mission offering began in 1912, Seventh-day Adventist members have supported the growth of the church through their faithful prayers and offerings. Today, these same offerings will help spread a message of hope in Jesus' soon return to the people of South America. Thank you for your prayers and support of mission throughout the years. Millions of people have come to hear the message of Jesus' love because of the dedication and commitment of the members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church.